In this short video, I'll show you exactly how to migrate from Skype to Microsoft Teams in just a few minutes. If you're still using Skype, you need to act fast. Microsoft is ending support for Skype in May 2025, meaning you won't be able to use it anymore. But don't worry, I'll guide you step by step on how to transfer your conversations and contacts, install Microsoft Teams properly, and fix common migration errors. Hello, and welcome to the 3 Minutes Fix channel. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay updated. Now, let's get started. First, open your browser and search for Microsoft Teams Download. Click the first link from Microsoft's official website and select Download. Once the download is complete, press Windows plus the letter E to open File Explorer. Go to Downloads and double-click the installation file. Follow the setup instructions and launch Microsoft Teams. When Teams opens, it will prompt you to sign in. If you use Skype with a Microsoft account, your details might appear automatically. If your Skype account isn't listed, click Use another account and enter your Skype email or phone number. Enter your password and click Next to continue. Once logged in, you're inside Microsoft Teams, but your Skype messages won't be there yet. We'll fix that in a minute. If you're using a mobile device, follow these steps, open the Google Play Store or Apple App Store and search for Microsoft Teams. Tap Install and wait for the app to download. Once installed, open Teams and sign in with the same Microsoft account linked to your Skype. If your contacts don't appear immediately, check for updates or restart the app. Microsoft is working on a direct migration feature that will allow users to transfer their chats and contacts with a single click. If you're using Skype for web, you may see a notification informing you when the migration is available. If this feature isn't available yet, you can still manually migrate your data using the Teams Insider program. Since Microsoft doesn't automatically transfer Skype chats, you'll need to join the Teams Insider program to access this feature early. Follow these steps. In Microsoft Teams, click the three-dot menu on the sidebar. Select Teams Insider program and click Join now. Restart Microsoft Teams by clicking Restart Now. Once Teams reopens, you should see a message, Skype and Teams are coming together. Click Continue. Choose your Skype account, confirm your name and details, and click Continue. After a few moments, your Skype chats and contacts will sync with Teams. At this point, any messages you send in Teams will also appear in Skype, so you can still communicate with Skype users during the transition. If your chats don't show up immediately, wait a few minutes or restart your computer. Before we continue, if you're finding this tutorial helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for more tech tips. Now let's continue. If you don't want to switch to Microsoft Teams, you can export your Skype chat history and contacts. Microsoft provides an option to download your data before shutting down Skype. To do this, visit the Skype Data Export page on Microsoft's website, link in description. Sign in with your Skype account. Select Export Chat History and Contacts. Click Download once the file is ready. Here are some ways to troubleshoot common Skype to Teams migration issues. If the conversations are not showing up, try signing out and logging back in. This will should. If you can't find the right Skype account, Make sure you entered the correct email or phone number. Many people may have forgotten their real login credentials over time. If Teams keeps crashing, update it to the latest version from the official website or app store. If you're experiencing issues like Microsoft Teams, we can't connect you. Ensure your internet connection is stable and try restarting the app. If you want to master Microsoft Teams, check out our comprehensive video, link in the description. To explore more Microsoft video tutorials, click this card. Check the description below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials. If you have a question or need more help, leave a comment and I'll be happy to assist. Thank you for tuning in.